You thought it was over. That nice guy McFly would never make another part to one in the chamber. You thought wrong. Back again, animated by the way more talented Kelsey animated. Ladies and gentlemen, with the face of a baby, the height of Marty McFly, the voice of a game show host, my name is Nice Guy McFly, and welcome to One in the Chamber, Part 2. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Make it stop! <laughs> As with the last one, certain things will be cut to save on time, and in the case of this video, to keep it from being taken down from YouTube, because it's, it's really bad this time. Let's get into it, folks. We're going off right at the end of One in the Chamber Part 1, so if you haven't seen that video, you probably want to. Otherwise, you're going to be a little bit confused. I must have dozed off. When I came to, there was a light in the room and she was gone. Despite myself, I felt a little bit disappointed. I mean, yeah, it's probably a good thing when the underage girl you technically just assaulted ain't still around when you wake up. Ugh. I palmed my face, groaning. What is wrong with me? It felt every bit like I just screwed my little sister several times in multiple positions. We even did the rare gorilla's position. <laughs> Kill me. Thinking that breakfast might clear the cobwebs from my mind, I got up, got dressed, and made my way down the stairs toward the kitchen. Last bit of stairs, minding the bum third step, I turned the corner and Oh hi yo, Tucci Kun! Bugger me. Oh yes, bugger me indeed. Tea and crumpets. Oh, British noises. Russ and Murdoch were seated around the kitchenette. Noodle was working the stove. Now I'm gonna try to do a Murdoch and Russell impression, but I can't guarantee any promises that they'll be any good. What happened to you, mate? I perked up. Murdoch was studying me, his good eye narrowing inquisitively. What? Uh, you look like you spent the night in prison getting bummed by a walrus. And I wonder what that would sound like. <laughs> Why would a walrus be in prison? Russ inquired with a ma- <laughs> Why would a walrus be in prison? Russ inquired around a mouthful of toast. Crumbs against fish, Murdoch stated matter-of-factly. And then, for any benefit, he leaned in loudly to whisper. A lewd and lavish variety, of course. Noodle pulled up her usual chair across from me and dug in. This particular morning, she had on striped drain pipes. D drain pipes? What did she do? Rip them off the bottom of the sink? Hey, Jerry! Hey, Jerry! What do we put her in, Jerry? Drain pipes? Yeah, that's freaking sexy, dude! What, Mom? No, Mom! No, I don't have any weird fetishes! I tried not to look her way. I really did, but every so often I'd go to glance up, and my eyes would immediately go to her chest. I kind of wanted to see her nips again. <laughs> Chris! Chris Hansen, help me! With breakfast done, I quickly cleared my space and dipped out, careful to avoid Noodle's gaze. I closed the door to my room and threw the heaviest bolt, resting my back against the solid wood frame. Once again, there came a timid knock at my door. I knew who it was. Tucci! The knocking got louder, more insistent. I undid the top bolt and opened the door. Can we talk, Tucci? The corner of her lip was bruised from where she had been chewing it. Jeez, how hard was she chewing on it? Is that a fetish thing? I wouldn't know. Me and the odd ones out share the same fetish. Having a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm gonna die alone. I am so sorry, she began after a time. I was lonely, but I have dishonored my family to do what I did. It's, uh, it's my fault. I, I mean, I guess I kind of forgot that you were, um, you know, 14 in that. A horrifying thought occurred to me. What if I had been her first? Oh god, 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 oh no, but no, there was no way, no way on earth. Noodle banged like a loaded freight train running on an hour late for the station. Excuse me, what? Nudes, I soothed against her ear. I am so sorry. You ain't done nothing wrong. It's so my fault, I swear. Noodle shook her head, her face buried in the crux of my neck. No, Tucci. Deja vu. It's my fault. I've had a crush on you. A bad one. For years. Noodle, I began after much deliberation. I'm, you know, 
flatter than that, but I'm like way older than you by a lot, and Noodle fidgeted in place, a long streak of red spanning the distance between either cheek. I won't tell. My tarantula pits shot open as wide as they could get. That's not what I meant. But I could see it in her eyes now, a freshly turned over ember of determination growing steadily hotter. Now Noodle says yo instead of your, so I'll turn it into a racial stereotype every time she does. I want you, Noodle growled, her gaze firm, resolute. I have wanted you for years. Every time you take some stupid groupie into your bedroom, I go in mine and screen into my pillow. Everything you do, everything about you, makes me crazy. Your creepy eyes, your smell, I'm a racial stereotype. And as she slid into my lap, it finally occurred to me, this was the new normal. Well, um, okay, Nudes and I were together, all intimate like and that. Let's see, she was on top of me, she was straddling me. L like a horsey, because they're like family. It's a real lollipop he's giving her behind the curtain. Not an analogy for something else. <laughs> I wanted to hear him moan. I wanted to make her scream my name. Is this story called One in the Chamber because the plot makes me want to play Russian roulette with a 44? Because I really want to do that now. Honestly, I think I could have died right then and there and been totally fine with it. Is it a weird thing to say? I mean, what more could a guy ask for out of life? Front man for an awesome alt band? Enough drugs swimming through my veins to stack a pharmacy? Cute, albeit illegal, girl in my bed. If Neil deGrasse Tyson were to walk through my bedroom door and blow out the back of my head with a rhinestone encrusted in derringer, I don't think I would have protested much. Did someone say rhinestones? Your love's like rhinestones falling through the sky. Da, 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 da. Tucci, please don't stop. Wait, what's happening? Is that... Is this full detail? Is this smut? Oh god. Oh, oh god! Oh, I'm, I'm gagging. I'm actually gagging. <coughs> Basically, let's keep it short here. They had sex. They're sitting in bed and they're quite tired because they had sex! and there was a lot of thrusting motions! It's late, she whispered. I should go. Yeah. After a moment's hesitation, Noodle slowly went to distangle herself from me, and I didn't let her. I just sort of held on. Which sounds a lot more rapey than it actually was, I assure you. Oh no, it's not rapey at all. You didn't have sex with an underage girl or anything. It's totally fine. You can't see it, but I'm rocking back and forth in my beanbag chair because I'm going insane. <laughs> well, that was vile and disturbing. And chapter five is going to be even worse. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like and consider subscribing, as well as giving any constructive criticism you may have. Chapter 4 and 5 are coming next, and they're probably going to be even worse, so, you know, if I wind up dead at the end of this from all of the trauma, I apologize. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye